let's look at between trend and chop. We just went over for you gold traders. We just went over to sell the high on gold and buy the low. What you do in trend markets, guys and gals, the first thing you do, I have gold crude on the far left, gold on the right. I want to show you the difference between trend and chop. Remember, the market can only do two things. It's either going to trend or it's going to be in range. You need to know how to trade both. If you do, you'll do very, very well with this system. Here's how we do it. The first thing you log when you first log in, look at the Magenta MA. If it's angled down, then you're in a trend market. Your job as a trader is to sell retracements with trend. If you log in and the Magenta MA is flat as a pancake, like gold, horizontal, straight across the screen, your job as a trader is to sell the high and to buy the low. Sell the high, buy the low, until it breaks out and you look for a break retest with trend like this on crude. Now look at this crude traders. I asked who got this in the room, and all these traders got this trade in the room right here. Why did they know to sell this? Why did members post in the room that they sold this high? Why? Because we know as traders that the market can only do two things. And this has worked for 30 plus years the same exact way on every market on a daily basis. Either it chops or it trends. Typically you trend three and you chop two days. You must know how to trade both trend and chop. If I'm trending down, if I'm trending down, my magenta is angled down, I want to break my solid green level, right here, solid green level, low value area, let it break, let it rotate back up retest within a couple ticks, it can exceed it, it just can't close the body of the candle above it, and when it, on the retest, comes a retest, I want you to look for a negative market delta. Look at the negative market delta over here. Look on the great chart. Negative market delta. Negative 302. Right? Negative market delta right at the break retest. So it lets you know at a break retest that that was a major sell signal. Anything over 200 on crude is a major sell signal at the break retest because the market went from going in balance, meaning it's between my green and red level. Remember, these solid levels, my green, red, and blue lines. My blue line is the most volume that's traded in the market. It's taken all the volume in the market. It's taken all the hedge fund, all the hedge funds, the prop firms, the retail. It's taken all the banks, everything. It's spitting out that solid blue line. And that drives the solid green line and the solid red line. So what we're going to do is we're going to let the market break outside of LBA, if we're in a trend, we're going to look for a retest. Here's a short here, break retest short here. Look how it broke below it. It rotated back up, and that was a short. Rotated back up, that was a short. So these are two major shorts that happened in the market with trend because I'm letting my solid lines dictate where I buy and sell off of on with overall trend direction. If I'm in a downtrend, I'm not taking any longs at all. I'm going to sell a break, retest the red. Or if market came up to blue, I would sell blue. Or if the market came up to my red line within two ticks, I would sell red. I'm in a downtrend. Okay? So this is a real nice trade of 51, almost a $500 trade, almost a $500 trade risking 130 bucks. Because market delta, when it came up and retested on my green low value area, we have negative market delta over here. My gray chart showed to sell because it closed red. We open the position up at the next bar after it closes red. You place your stop two ticks above the swing high and look at negative market delta all the way down, all selling pressure. The gray chart shows you the internals of the selling pressure in the market. It's not your opinion. It's not my opinion. This gray chart shows us that it's been sellers all the way down. And the market profile showed us that we were in a downtrend, so we sell the break retest here and sell the break retest here. You can sell the first and the second test on a break retest or a first and second test with trend. That's how you trade trend in crude. Now, if you look at gold today, gold is totally opposite. Gold is in a range market or it's flat. Where traders get killed is they trade off these moving averages or the MAC or all these different stochastics or divergence, all this crazy stuff, 
and they don't use a real indicator like market profile that's worked for 30 plus years. This is the internals of the market. So if I look at my market profile, my solid red up here, my solid green, has called the low and the high six times because we're in a range market. We're in a flat market in gold. Whereas crude, we are in a trend market. So in a flat market, what you do is play the prior video. I went in great, great, great detail on what these levels mean, all these market profile levels. So play the previous video on how to trade range. I go over all these market profile levels for you in detail. I'm not going to do it again. Play how to trade range, the previous video from this, and it goes in detail. This is just to show you the difference between how you trade every day. The market is only going to do two things, guys and gals. I'm in chop or I'm in trend. If I'm in trend, it's easy. If I'm in a downtrend, I want to break outside of a value. I want to rotate back up within a couple ticks. It's a lot to exceed it by the wick as long as I don't close a body of the candle inside of it. With negative market delta, you got yourself a trade. Just nail the high. That's over a $500 trade potential per one contract. Now, if it's in range and you log in, and I don't care what market you trade, it's the same way. If I'm in range, what I want to do is I want to sell the high. I want to buy the low. Sell the high, buy the low on the outer edges of market profile. Now, the next trade that I will wait for in a range market is what? The next big gold trade is going to be a break outside, a rotation outside a profile. So you'll see it rotate outside of it because the market's in balance. It's in balance right now. It's in balance right now on gold. It's out of balance on crude. Let me explain something to you how the market works, the internals. Once you get outside of my green or my red level lines, you get major speed in the market. And you'll see a break retest like that. Look at this major speed in crude. Do you think that's just by luck that, that major speed came in, those big five-minute candles down, big candle, big candle? Big. Do you think it's just by luck it does that every time it gets outside of profile and you see major speed like that on a retest? You think it's by luck at it? No. There's no support below you on volume profile. Once you get outside of it, there's a path of least support. Nothing below you. Okay? You have to understand the difference between trend and chop. If you do that, then you do very, very well. If you don't understand between trend and chop, you cannot trade the markets. I don't care if you trade stocks, forex, currency, futures. If you cannot trade both trend and chop, you might as well shut it down and find an eight to five job because the professional traders will take all your ticks. If you can't trade both, you're done. You can't take a moving average crossover system and make money and chop. You can't trade the MAC and make money and chop. You can't trade divergence, make money and chop. You can't trade stochastics, make money and chop. You're going to get killed because you're going to be wrong on one of the sides of the market. What you can do is you can let market profile dictate where you buy and sell because that's not my opinion. It's not your opinion. It's the actual order flow that's coming inside of the market. And then once you find the support inside the market, you can let market delta migrate chart show the order balance of the actual orders coming into the market to get you longer short the market. So on crude, we were in a downtrend. Downtrend, we let it break, we let it retest. Once it retests within two ticks, maximum three, you look for a what? A negative market delta to pop you in the trade. Your stop loss is two ticks above the swing high. That should give you an average stop loss around 130 bucks on the last crude oil trade, right? Almost right around $500 on that last move. That's almost a five to one reward to risk. Now on gold, I only have the trade of sell the highs and buy the lows right now. Until we break out, you sell the high, a market profile, you buy the low. That's all we do. This is trend. Put it up and I'm gonna shut this off. That's how you trade trend. Cannot, you gotta make sure you understand this. This is trend. This is chop. But I tell you what, if you know how to trade chop, you do very well. Sometimes you do better in chop than trend. If you understand how, how I'm showing you how to do this. Because trend markets are, are pretty awesome.
That's the only two possible scenarios you can have every day in the market. Every day. Either I trend or I chop. Either I trend or I chop. If I'm flat magenta MA, I sell the outer edges of market profile with a positive or negative market delta, and I try to get to the other side. And then I wait for a break retest, just like I did on crude oil, because it'll eventually break out of range. It always does. It'll eventually break out of range and go back into trend. That's all the market does, guys. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's all the market is. You go from trend to chop, chop to trend, trend to trend, chop to chop, chop, trend, chop. That's all it is. That's all the market does. It's not chaos. The market's not chaos. It's very orderly. Either you're trending and you're going down, you look for break retest of trend, or you're in range. Sell the highs, buy the lows. And look how accurate my market profile is. It's one, two, three, four, five, six for six on gold, two for two on crude. You could have got stopped out if you tried on the retracement off my volume profile levels. They haven't lost a trade yet today. Not one. Neither market. Now, when you do have a loss, and you will have losers, because sometimes you come up to profile, and you'll get a negative positive market delta, and it'll blow through it. What do you do? Keep your loss two ticks above the swing higher, swing low. You got to keep your losers small. Got to keep them small. Okay? The best time to sell or buy crude or gold is a first or second test of bull. First or second test is the best. If you sell it right there on gold, your risk is substantially higher. The first and second test of the range is the best. The first is obviously going to be your best trade you get. You're allowed to buy and sell the first and second test of range or first, second test of trend. The third test becomes dangerous, okay? Because all the wrongly positioned traders have been stopped out. 